stop scrolling. If you own a Fire Stick, you're about to discover the main reason people are obsessed with it. There are secret codes hidden inside this device that open up free movies, nonstop TV shows, and even live sports channels that most users never access. Fail to follow this guide and you'll be stuck paying for content. Others are enjoying for free. So pay close attention right now because I'm about to show you how to crack it wide open. First, move over to your main screen and locate that magnifying glass icon. Press down, then click the center button on your remote. A keyboard will appear. Now, type in Downloader. It should appear immediately as a suggested search term. Scroll down, highlight it, and press the center button once more. This takes you straight to the correct app, which is orange. Let's start the installation. The app's dedicated page will open. Just press the center button once, and the download process will begin. Wait for it to hit 100%. Patience is crucial here. Once it's finished, you'll see Launch Now. But do not click on it yet. Since it now shows Launch Now, press the Home button on your remote. Next, we absolutely must access your Fire Stick system settings to make a critical change. The fastest way to get there is to slide all the way to the right side of your main screen. A settings menu will pop up on the bottom, slide down, and we're looking for the option labeled My Fire TV. If your device isn't running the newest update, My Fire TV might be placed differently. Regardless of the name, this is the selection we need to make. Go ahead and click it. On my screen, Developer Options is already visible. If yours is not there, don't worry. I'll quickly walk you through how to enable it. Move up and select About. Now, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, rapidly press the central button nine times. A message will pop up saying, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that, hit the back button and developer options will now be displayed on the menu. Let's open developer options together. The first selection is ADB debugging. Press the central button to toggle it to the on position. If a small prompt box appears, scroll down and select allow. Now choose install unknown apps. You'll definitely see downloader listed there. You might spot other applications too. Scroll to Downloader and press the central button to enable it. On some older Fire Sticks, this specific choice might not be an option. Instead, it might say, Apps from Unknown Sources, and you can simply switch that one setting to On. Press the Home button on your remote. Now let's locate that new Downloader app. The simplest method is to scroll almost to the end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. Just scroll all the way down and you'll easily find the app you just finished adding. Let's open Downloader together. If a small box immediately pops up, just hit the central button to close it. This application lets you connect to almost any website. To enter a URL, press the central button two times a keypad will appear so you can type the web address. Today, I'll direct you to my special website. I'll display the address on the screen as I type. Be absolutely certain you enter it precisely or you might get a connection error. Take your time. Pause the video if I'm moving too quickly. Once the address is correctly typed, I'll highlight and hit go. Let's wait for the download to finish. If you happen to see a connection error or a check link message, it means your service provider is blocking the connection. Simply turn on your VPN or change its location, and that should resolve the issue. When the download is complete, you'll be prompted to install the app. Slide over and select Install. When the setup process is finished, slide over and choose Done. After you click Done, you'll return to this screen. Now slide over, click Delete, and then again, Slide, and select Delete. That's all the downloading we need from the Downloader app for now. Next, we need to return to the Fire Stick settings to make one final critical adjustment. Select my Fire TV or my device. 
then open Developer Options. And once again, go into Install Unknown Apps. Now you'll notice Unlin is showing up in the list. If you have other apps, scroll down to highlight Unlin and press the central button once to enable it. Once everything's configured, press the home button again. Now, we need to locate the new Unlin app. Remember, just scroll over and select the icon with three squares and a plus sign. All your apps are on this screen. Let's open it up. The first thing it requires is a new library. Click the central button on your remote two times, just like that. Another keypad will pop up asking for the specific library code. Friends, I created my very own exclusive app store, giving access only to my devoted viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the best, newest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps up to date, creating this video, and answering your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That simple click tells me thank you for sharing all of this for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type in this code. Make sure to take your time. It must be entered exactly as written, or you might encounter an error. If I'm moving too fast, just pause the video. After you enter the code correctly, highlight and click Next, and let the library load up. Welcome to my custom app store. There are 70 fantastic apps here for free on-demand content, live content, live sports, and even more. People often ask, which are my favorites? My personal top picks for cord cutting are highlighted right in the welcome message. Many viewers also inquire about VPNS. I've put an important note right here, so please take a quick moment to read all the info on the welcome screen. After you've read everything, Press the central button on your remote three times. This will automatically organize my store for you. Move up and down for categories or right and left for the apps within them. Today, I'll show you a few options, walk you through how the system works and how to begin enjoying your free content. Now scroll down through the categories until you reach category number 13, Cool YouTube Examples. The first app I strongly suggest downloading here is IPVANISHVPN. This is my absolute favorite choice for staying secure and private while utilizing all these applications. Some people have trouble installing or opening apps because their internet provider blocks the connection. Using IPVANISHVPN keeps you safe and gets around any throttling or restrictions from your provider. To download IPVANISHVPN, you can highlight it and click Download. Or what I prefer to do to always ensure I get the latest version is go back to the Fire Stick home screen, find the magnifying glass, scroll down, click the search bar, and when the keyboard pops up, type in I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H. Sometimes you will have to type it in fully to make it appear. So just take your time here. Type it in exactly as I am. Then you'll see it in the suggestions. Highlight and click the central button. On this page, Select the app from the list, and in this menu, click the central button to start the installation process. Once it's installed, click the central button to launch it, and you can log in. Don't have an account yet? No worries. I'll show you a super simple way to get one so you can browse safely and unlock all these amazing apps. Grab your phone or computer and open your browser. Go to the website address shown on screen or just point your camera at the QR code to get there instantly. The link is also conveniently provided in the video description and the comments section. Choose a plan. Even one month is enough to test it out and witness the difference for yourself. After you successfully sign up, they'll send an email with your username and password. With those crucial details, your Fire Stick will be safe and private. Log in to the IP Vanish app and press connect. There's one essential setting I want to highlight for you. Tap the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu pops up. I've highlighted connect on Android startup. If you turn the setting on, you'll never have to manually remember to activate your VPN every time you power on your device. 
It'll connect automatically, so you never have to pause your movie just to check if your VPN is running. It just handles it for you. Now that you're totally protected, let's start grabbing some more fantastic apps. Press home and head back to your applications, open the Unlin app again, and return to the same category. Here are the next four apps I recommend for on-demand shows, sports, and live content. You'll find four more applications to download here. Make sure to check the descriptions so you know precisely what each one does and how to use it. Here's the first one. You'll spot an app for live channels, special events, and more. Click it, press download, and now we'll just wait for this to reach 100%. It might only take a couple of seconds if your internet is quick or a little longer if it's slow. But either way, this download step always completes. So just stay patient and let it do its thing. This depends on your internet speed and the file size how long it might take, but when the box pops up, select Install App, slide over, and press Install. Now it's going through the installation, so we'll wait until that reaches 100%. This step can take a little longer than downloading, but seriously, it's completely normal. And once it's finished, we'll be ready to move forward. After that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can immediately get more apps. Next, you'll see an app specifically focused on sports. Highlight it and hit download. Here comes another loading bar. All we need to do is let it climb to 100%. Depending on your internet connection, this part might fly by or take a short moment. Don't worry though, it's just part of the process and we'll be moving forward right after. When you see the small box, click Install App, slide over and hit Install. Depending on your specific device, this might be quick or take a moment, but either way, it always completes and will continue as soon as it does. Now. Look for an app that brings you both movies and TV shows. Highlight, click, download, and let it finish. We'll pause here for a bit while it fills up to 100%. I know it feels like we've repeated this step, but it's all part of the required setup. Just hang tight. This won't take forever, and we'll be on to the next step before you know it. When the install box appears, select Install App, slide over, and click Install. Now, some apps in my store actually require a separate player to work correctly. The one you just downloaded for movies and TV shows is exactly like that. You'll notice the title clearly says, it requires another player. It might seem a bit confusing initially, but the description explains everything, and it'll make perfect sense once you start using the apps. Let's grab that required player app now. Find the app, select download, and wait for it to complete. Almost there. Just let this one load all the way up to 100%. I know we've had a couple of these waits already, but that's just how the process goes. Stick with me, it won't be much longer. And when the box shows up, install it just like before. And that's all there is to it. We just grabbed four awesome apps. Remember, there are 70 total in my store, so don't feel limited by what I've shown you here. My top favorites are conveniently placed in category one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them daily. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you want to try. Now, I know we just added some truly amazing apps for free movies, TV, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. But before you open any of these, I always recommend turning on your VPN first. Thank you so much to everyone who follows and supports this channel. It means so much and helps me out a ton. I appreciate you all for spending your time with me. I can't wait to read your comments and see you again in the next video.